Big news coming in from New Japan Pro Wrestling as their star, Kazuchika Okada, is set to be a free agent early in 2024. Let's get into it. Former IWGP heavyweight champion, world champion, they call it two different names because they're the iterations of the belt, Kazuchika Okada, the rainmaker himself. He is out of contract at the end of January 2024. This news has literally hit like a bombshell within the last hour or so from Justin Barrasso from Sports Illustrated. I don't think anyone saw this coming. If you guys remember, a matter of maybe a month ago, we heard news that WWE were interested in Okada, but they quickly got swept under the carpet. No one really cared anymore, but maybe this is where it's stemming from because Okada's contract is actually up at the end of January 2024. He will become a free agent. However, it is thought that New Japan have already started, you know, opening talks about renewing that contract. Okada has been a mainstay fixture, top of the card main eventer since he's been in New Japan since 2007. Like he really is the star boy of this company and until recently he has just been amongst the big boy belts it's only ever been an iwgp world championship or the iwgp heavyweight championship like i said it's only recently with tanahashi and ishii he started stepping his his toe into the never open weight trios division and of course he is a champion there as well but of course, he has been around the block. He is a very experienced wrestler, even in his tender age. He's not even anywhere near 40 years old yet. But Okada was previously in TNA Impact. Okada has been in Noah recently in recent times. And of course, we have seen him part of the Forbidden Door pay-per-view, the crossover pay-per-view between AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling. And talking about that crossover, he is going to have a match at Wrestle Kingdom 18, January 4th against Brian Danielson that is still happening he is still on the contract when that is due to happen and that is like the return leg if you like from their match at Forbidden Door earlier this year where Brian Danielson got the win against him now it has to be said with all the excitement and the news of Okada contract coming up at the end of January the report did say his preference is still to remain in Japan and to live in Japan now of course, we're going to theorize, you know, where is he going to go? Is it going to be an AEW move? Is it going to be a WWE move? Well, we have seen, you know, the likes of Will Ospreay recently sign his contract with AEW. And as part of his contract, he doesn't have to move to the US. They were quite happy for Will Ospreay to stay based in England, which was his preference as well. But he can also do stuff with AEW. And it kind of makes sense, you know, for Okada, you know, I'm advocating for Okada to leave New Japan and I'll tell you why in a second, but Okada can sign a similar deal at AEW where he probably remains in Japan, but he can fly into the US to do certain stuff with AEW and then fly home and, you know, just manage it between the two countries like that. Now, like I said, I'm advocating for Okada to leave New Japan Pro Wrestling. 2007? Huh? He's been there for such a long time. Like, what? We're coming on to like 15 years old or whatever. Like, he is an absolute legend in Japan and New Japan Pro Wrestling. Like I said, he's flying the flag out there. It will be tough times for them losing Will and Okada, you know, in the space of a month. But for him, I think he should move on. And it's almost like a sideways move. I would say AEW is the place that would feel most like home for Okada. He would know a lot of the talents there, as you know, a lot of them came from Japan to start AEW. AEW would give him the leeway, like I said earlier, to actually live in Japan and still come over and work with them. Pretty much like the Kota Ibushi deal that Kota's got right now. And it's just the quality of matches, which I'm sure he still wants to pursue being one of these, you know, revered greatest wrestlers of all time. AEW don't really have a strong Japanese presence 
in the company. They said they were going to kind of mix it up with everything. There's more of a, a lucha and Latino flavor in the company now more than Japanese. It's just like Takeshita is flying the flag alone and even Takeshita isn't really being booked as well as some of us would have hoped recently. So Okada would be a really good fit in AEW. I think, you know, he could still go back and forth from Japan, probably still do New Japan stuff. I really do think from at least a fan excitement point of view, staying in New Japan is just a safe thing to do. Noah, I can't really see him making that move. So, you know, if we're talking about a move outside of the country, AEW gives him that flexibility, gives him that level of competition and will probably check more boxes for him than anywhere else. However, if we are allowed to dream for one moment, imagine the Rainmaker at WrestleMania. Imagine the spectacle, the entrance, like what they could do for him. Like, and I'm sure, you know, WWE isn't being run by dinosaurs anymore. There's a lot more of a better image. And we've heard in recent times that WWE are actively trying to fix their image of the foreign wrestlers, of the luchadors, of the Japanese imports. They're working on it. What better way to say that they're working on it by bringing in Japan's poster boy, almost sitting him under the learning tree of Shinsuke Nakamura, who I say sitting him under the learning tree, you know, Okada's very experienced, but it's almost like he's been in the country and, you know, knows how the whole TV stuff works for WWE. And what about, you know, maybe getting a, a WrestleMania match between Nakamura and Okada? That would be excellent, no? Like, I think we're allowed to dream here. And WWE are having such a good time of it right now. It is not impossible that they sign Kazuchika Okada. They signed CM Punk recently. And that's big, big business. Like, that is big, big business for them. But what does it say? They still missed out on Will Ospreay. This could be almost like a counter signing for not getting Will Let's get the Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada. I really do think that, you know, if we're allowed to dream, this would be an excellent signing. AEW almost feels like, like almost like another safe signing. Like I said, that New Japan would be. This would be totally left field. Of course, WWE will come with its cons as well. The product isn't necessarily as wrestling centric as you would like, some fans of Okada would like, as maybe Okada himself would like. And there's more on that whole entertainment element of it. We all know that. And of course, we don't know how lenient WWE would be in allowing Okada to remain in Japan and fly in for his dates. We would have to see. AEW I think would be a really good place and I'll be really happy if you ended up in AEW the safe thing to do would be to re-sign for New Japan and personally I'm not trying to see that happen you guys let me know why you trying to see that happen let me know in the comments below where Okada should turn up I want to hear from you if you enjoyed today's video please hit the like button and if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video WrestleManiac UK signing out and I'll see you soon.